Lori from LittleBlueDeerDesign.com and today I'm going to show you how to use the WP Bakery page builder just to add rows and columns, make tables, etc. Um, to your WordPress blog page or post. And WP Bakery is one of the most popular page builder plugins out there. You can get it at WPBakery.com. Um, just click on the green button here. There's tutorials to show you how to upload and install this plugin. And for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you already have it installed. And I'm just going to show you very quickly how to add rows and columns. Um, this is a really good way if you want to add tables. That's really difficult with the WordPress Classic Editor. So this plugin just gives you a little extra boost as far as uh, what you can do with WordPress pages or posts. So the first thing that you're going to do is you are going to go to the, we'll leave this here. I've got a blank page here. So go ahead and create a new page or post. And then I like to use the front end editor. So in your toolbar at the top of your site, you're going to click edit with WP Bakery page builder. Okay. This is going to bring you to the front end editor. You usually use the back end editor for creating posts and pages, but this is a visual composer. So you can actually see things happen um, right on the page with using the front end. So we're just going to start with adding a row. So you can click on the plus sign up here at the top and you can see all these cool things that WP Bakery includes. Um, there are separators, there are icons, um, social media like boxes, post sliders, all kinds of really neat things. We're going to keep it simple for this tutorial. We're going to talk about rows and columns. So to add a new row, just click on row. And here's my row. Now I'm going to click the arrow to expand the row and then I'm going to click on these little lines which indicate the columns. I want three columns so I'm going to select three right here. There's a number of different options and I'm going to click update. And what I want to do today is to put three photos um, in a row on my page. So you can see now I've got my row with three columns. I'm going to click on the plus sign inside of the first column and I'm going to choose single image. And you can click on the plus sign by image. I've already got some images. Set image, just like you would upload an image to your regular WordPress page or post. Now, image size. I have already sized my images, so I'm going to click full. These will appear at full size. You also can choose thumbnail. Thumbnails are hard cropped. Um, you will need to go to your media settings and see what your thumbnail si sizes are to know um, exactly what, uh, what size your thumbnail images will be. But you can also choose medium, large, or full, once again, as defined in your media library. For the sake of this tutorial, we're going to stick to full. I can add a caption if I want to. I can choose the image alignment. A uh, little cool thing that this offers is I can choose different image styles. I can add a border, um, shadow, etc. I can choose for the on-click action if I would like to link the image to a link, which a lot of people do. So when someone clicks on your image, it will open a custom link. So I'm going to choose open custom link. And then I'm going to type in the link that I want this image to go to. I'm just going to send it to my about page. Link target means do you want the link to open in the same window or new window. And then I can choose some uh, cascading style sheet animation if I want. You can choose fade in, bounce in. There's a number of different choices. We'll try fade in. And I'm going to click save changes. And you can see there's my image. So I want two more images in my row. So I'm going to follow these exact same steps. I'm going to upload my image. I'm going to choose my image size and any other links or uh, additions you want to make. Once again, down here you have some choices, save changes. And I'm going to do one last image. So we have a nice, neat row of three.
and that's done. Now, I forgot to set the image to be full sized and you can see this is sized to my thumbnail size which is like 300 by 300. So anytime I wanna edit my image, all I have to do is hover over the image, the green box pops up, I can come right down here and type in full and save changes. And now my image is back to being full size. So say that now I would like to add some text under my image. I can simply click the orange append to column button and I can choose the text block. And there's already some dummy text in there so you can type your own text. We'll just leave that. And you have some design options. If you wanna add a background color to your text, you can certainly do that. Um, you can choose from the color wheel here. Uh, I don't really like any of these colors, so we're actually just going to go with a gray. Or you can also type in your hex color, and then you have the choice as well to change the transparency of the background, which can look kind of nice. So we're going to click Save Changes, and we're going to close, and you can see that I have a nice little text block with some light gray text in the background. Um, I can add more text to any of my columns here. Very simple. We'll just use the default text this time. No background, no changes. And there we go. So this is a really cool, um, just easy, handy, particularly for tables. Now, if I wanted to create another row, if I was making a table, once again, I'm gonna click on the gray plus sign here. I'm gonna click the plus sign and I'm gonna start another row. So we're gonna add a new row and once again, we're gonna come back to row and we're gonna click on the columns and maybe this time I wanna do four columns. So I'm gonna choose the four columns and as you can see, I now have my columns all set up. Now, I can add once again, images, text, messages, buttons, videos. This is really a lot of fun to play with and if you're design inclined you might really enjoy sort of fooling around with it. For the sake of this tutorial we'll keep it very simple. Um, once again now I have my four columns and I just want to share a couple of other quick things with styling the row and that will be it. So on the row if I want to edit my row I will click the pencil button. And you can also set your row to stretch. This will give you a full width background. You also can set if you want your columns to be set to equal height. This can be very convenient if you are making tables. So you can set your row to be full height and you can also set your columns to be equal height. This means that even if your text is in different is different lengths of text, you'll still have even white space up and down. Um, if we want to have a colored background to our row, we can click over here to design options and background. Once again, we can choose the color. I'll pick a light gray. I'll bring down the opacity just a little bit. And then I'm going to click save changes. And you can see now my columns have a really nice light gray background behind them. And maybe I want to come back over here now and change the background color of my text so that it's white instead of the gray. So I'm just going to click on the text block settings, design options tab, select color, and the hex color for white is FFFF. I also have the option to go down here and select the color and I'm going to pull the opacity all the way back to 100 and I'm going to click Save Changes. Close. Now we've got some white text against the gray background. So this is just a really simple way if you want to make a table, if you're selling products, etc. and you'd like them to appear on a table, it's just very handy. When we are done, this is important, we're going to click on the Update tab in the upper right corner. And when you see the sign that says successfully updated, then you can click on the X. 
you can close the page and now you can see that I've got a really nice row here are my photos here's my text my background colors and once again should I want to edit this again all I have to do is click on the edit with WP bakery page builder link and that's going to bring me right back into the front end visual editor so that's really all there is to the tutorial and if you'd like to uh, learn more about my blog design services and different things that we offer you can go to littlebluedeerdesign.com and I also do have a whole section on my blog under services I have many WordPress tutorials so if you like this one then you can check out uh, littlebluedeerdesign.com backslash WordPress hyphen tutorials and uh, if you have any questions please feel free to leave a comment on the video thanks so much for watching